In this video, I'll be going over how to multiply numbers in your head using base 10. The way to multiply numbers in your head using base 10 is to first minus the number by 10 for both numbers. Then you want to take the result of the number that you get here, add it to the first number, and you will place it right here then then you will leave a space behind result of the first number multiplied by the second number and you will place it right here now this all looks kind of confusing right now but as we go through a few examples you will understand how to do it So with the first example, 12 times 16. So the first step that we want to do is we want to think in a base of 10. The first number of 12 is 2 over 10. So we'll place a plus 2 on top. The second number of 16 is 6 over 10. And we'll place a plus 6 above, like so. So then we're going to take 12 and add the 6, so it will become 18. Then we'll leave a space behind. Then the next step will be multiplying these two numbers together. So 2 times 6 is 12. Since this space is only allowed for one digit, we can only place a 2 here and place a plus 1 on top. 18 plus 1 is 19. And then we place this 2 after. So the answer is 192. Now let's try the second example. 21 times 15. So 21 is 11 above 10. 15 is 5 over 10. And so we'll do the same. We'll take 21 plus 5 is 26. One space behind. 11 times 5 is 55. So we'll put 5 here and we'll add a 5 above. And so 26 plus 5 is 31. And the 5 will be here. So we have 315 as a second example. And you may input 21 times 15 in the calculator and you will see the answer does come out to 315. Now let's move on to example 3. Now example 3, we didn't have a number above 10. However, we're just we're taking the second number and minusing the base of 10. So if we have 9 minus 10, that means we'll have a minus 1. And 25 is 15 over 10. So in this case, we're going to take 25 minus 1 is 24. With a space behind. Next, we're going to multiply these two numbers, which we will have a negative 15. Now, whenever we have a negative, we want to place a 0 here instead. And we'll place that negative 15 after. So this will become 240 minus 15. And it will, the answer will be 225. The reason why we're placing a 0 there is because it's a number below 0. So if you have a number below zero, you couldn't put a positive number in the allocated spot. So we could only put zero there. Now let's try inputting the 25 times nine in the calculator. And you will see the answer does come out to 225. Now for the example four of 52 times 11, 
this will be 42 over 10. And the 1 will be 1 over 10. So using the same process, we're going to take the 1, add it to 52. So we got 53 with a space behind. Then we take the 42 times by 1. We have 42. And so we place a 2 and a plus 4 above. And so this will come out to 57 and then 2. So the answer for an example 4 would be 572. For example 5, 35 times 14. 35 is 25 over 10. 4 would be 4 over 10. Adding the 4 to 35, we get 39. Now 25 times 4 is a rather big number. The answer for that is 100. So how do you place 100 in one slot? The way we would do it is we would place the final zero here and then we'll add the 10 above like so. So that's 100. And so we'll go ahead and add 10 to 39, which is 49, and then drop down to zero. And the answer is 490. And for our final example today, we're having a singular digit as the first number. So that's 8 times 35. Since I don't have space above, I'm going to place the numbers below instead. So 8 would be minus 2. And 35 would be 25 over 10. Okay. And so we're taking the 25 added to the 8. That gives us 33. And then a space behind. Now we're going to multiply these two numbers together. And since we know it's going to be a negative number, we're going to place a 0. And 25 times negative 2 is negative 50. So it will be minus 50. So what is 330 minus 50? The answer is 280. And you can try inputting that in the calculator. And you'll see that the answer come out to 280. So these six examples are how you would multiply numbers in your head using the base of 10. It may look confusing at first, but it's quite easy to memorize. And with practice, you will be able to use it on your daily life. Hopefully this is helpful to you. And thank you for watching.